Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you. May be seated. Follow me very, very closely. What we are going to share today or this day. Follow me very closely. In Genesis chapter 12 and verse number 3. God speaking to Abraham, he said. And I will bless them that bless you. And curse him that curses thee. And I will curse him that curses him. You. We'll be looking at a subject I entitle generational curses. Transgenerational curses. Transterritorial curses. That is what we'll be looking at today. Transgenerational curses. Trans. Territorial curses. So follow me very closely. And one of the subjects that need to be exposed as much as possible. One of the subjects that every preacher must preach. Is the message on what I'm calling hidden curses. The hidden curses. Hidden curses. Understanding Uelewa. the operations of curses. The forces behind curses. How curses travel in families. In communities. Katika jamii. From one clan to the other. From one nation to another. Village to villages. If there is a message that the church needs to be understanding, is the root cause of curses that are afflicting. How curses have arrested the heroes. How a curse. Can bring a hero down in the grave using a cast of cancer. Somebody say, I am breaking the cast today. There are things that each one of us need to understand. People don't die, they are killed. There is an enemy that kills. We may say they have struggled or they have battled with diabetes. We may say they have battled with cancer. But they didn't die. Cancer killed them. And I pray that in the name of Jesus, whatever is killing others, whatever is killing others, hiding in the pretense of a curse, shall be broken. I say shall be broken. Many that are lying in graves. Expensive graves. People buying very expensive caskets. And they say these people died. They didn't die. They were battling a power they could not uh, I mean, overcome. They could not overcome. But I pray for somebody today. What has killed others in your family? I say what has killed others. It shall be broken today in the name of Jesus. It shall release you in the name of Jesus. So it's a subject we need to understand. How curses have arrested destinies of people. How to identify a curse from sickness? How do I identify that this is a curse? This is witchcraft? This is sickness? How do I identify? How do I identify the curse? The various types of curses that affect 
believers curses that affect non believers curses that affect the so called Christians so we must identify we must reach a point we understand territorial curses territorial curses you can be blessed in one area but the day you move to another area you lose everything you got it is territorial curses there is what we call boundary curses they are restricted to specific areas they can only subdue a specific community and cause them to be poor in a certain area another area is a dry area another area children don't go to school another area full of drunkards these are boundary curses this is what also I'm calling the generational curses that we need to be digging deeper and deeper to understand why should I be in a church why should I be in a church 10 years 15 years 20 years my life is not changing my life is not changing could I be fighting a curse that is generational there are curses we call the killing curses killing curses there are curses we call impoverishing curses their work is only to impoverish curses that kill curses that impoverish curses that fight only marriages only marriages people can be rich but the curse that is fighting is the curse of marriage people can be rich but the curse operating is a curse of death we are calling curses that kill curses that impoverish curses that fight marriages there are also curses whose assignment is to punish their work is only punishing families they are called punishing curses everybody has a problem. One is punished with sickness. Another is punished with joblessness. Another is punished with miscarriage. These are called punishing curses. Their work is only to punish. Punish your finances. Punish your pregnancy. Somebody say, my father, my God. Every punishing curse. I can't hear you. Every curse punishing my life. Every curse punishing my Today, life. Today, you shall expire. You shall expire. You shall expire. You shall expire. They are called punishing curses. Somebody release the curse just to punish. You can't excel. And one of the good examples of a punishing curse is Genesis 49. Genesis 49 Listen to this very carefully An example of a punishing curse A curse that keep punishing A simple statement But it carries punishment Simple language But it carries punishment Verse number 4 We can start verse 3 and 4 
Jacob. The curse of Jacob upon Reuben. The curse of Jacob against Reuben. And he said, you are my firstborn. I have no problem with you. You are a firstborn. You are my might. The beginning of my strength as a firstborn. You have good certificates. You are a good son. You are excellence of power. But unstable as water, you shall not excel. What Jacob is saying, I am releasing a curse of punishment. Because you went to your father's bed. So curses that punish, they come because there is a reason. This is a punishing curse. That you are unstable as water. You shall not excel. Even if you went abroad, you can't excel. Even if you get married to anybody, you can't stay in marriage. This is called a punishing curse. Somebody raise your hand and say, My father, my God, every curse punishing my life from my mother's house. Where are you? Break! Hey! Some of you must learn how to pray. <laughs> Some of you will have to learn how to pray. This is not a religious service. <laughs> it is a warfare service. It is a warfare service. Whoever is punishing you, the punishment of your mother, the punishment of your uncle, whoever is punishing you, that you can't get a baby, Whoever, whoever is punishing you that you can't be married, if I be a man of God, whoever is doing that, wherever they are, somebody said, Die! Die now! Command them to die! Command them to die! Command them to die! Command them! Release me now! 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 What God can do, <laughs> no man can do. And we are here today that any man afflicting you, anyone punishing you, they will regret. I said they will regret. Somebody say enemies of my marriage. Enemies of my marriage. Whoever you are, you shall regret. Hey. Don't forget, there are curses that kill. Hey, somebody say, I refuse. Somebody say, I refuse. So sicknesses that doctor tell you, we are sorry this one you have to live with. What they are telling you, you have been sentenced to punishment. Hey, whoever did that, I say whoever, whether they are dead or alive, I say whether they are dead or alive, wherever they are, in Ukambani, in Western, Central, Rift Valley, Nyandarwa, wherever they are, somebody says, scatter by fire, scatter by by fire, scatter, 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 scatter by fire. Seconda yando lobo bo, inde babo, yare brazo koto koto londa, inde re re le 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 le, sambode, se ma ye yote, ana ini azibu, na magonjwa, ana ini azibu, na umaskini, who are you, who are you, where are you, near 
Niachilia! Ndio hiyo ndio hiyo ndio hiyo ndio hiyo ndio hiyo. Anainiadhibu na uchawi. Anainiadhibu na uchawi. Ndio hiyo ndio hiyo ndio hiyo ndio hiyo. Anainiadhibu na uchawi. Anainiadhibu na uchawi. Anainiadhibu na uganga. Who are you? Niachilia! Niachilia niachilia niachilia. Somebody need to pray this violently. Who are you? Who are you? Where 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 are Somebody say ye yote Ananiadhibu Akitumia uganga Anaetumia waganga Uniadhibu Who are you? Where are you? Niachilia Niachilia Lift your hands. Close your eyes one minute. Foul wicked curses that are punishing you. Punishing curses. Where are you? Where are you? Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Dio yo, dio yo. Lana. Lana. Uli yo adibi wa na mama. Yes. You le mama li e ku adibu. I command them to release you. Ye yo te li ku adibu. Mjomba. Yes. Achilia, achilia. Lana ya mjomba. Where are you? Come out. Toka sasa. Somebody lift your hands above your head. Just breathe in and out. Rosa kata yanda. Lori gada yare remeze gada. Oh yes, whoever is punishing you. Every punishing curse. Curses that are punishing. With sickness. With diseases. Where are you? Anza kutoka. Number one. Where are you? Lana ya guka. Lana ya soso Lana ya mother in law Where are you Catch fire Catch fire Catch fire Holy Ghost Fire is on you Ndiyo hiyo ndiyo hiyo Chomeka 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 Holy Ghost
Jesus. Fire. 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 One. Fire. Two. Fire. Three. Fire. Four. Fire. Five. Fire. Six. Fire. Seven. Fire. Keep your hands lifted up. Just breathe in and out. Curses that punish your finances. Hiding in your hands. I command those hands to begin to catch fire. Hands that are under punishment. Financial punishment. Where are you? Where are you? Financial punishment. Out! Curses that are punishing your finances. They are right in your hands. You can handle money. Because of financial punishment. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Where are you? Come out. Come out. Mikono iliobeba laana. Mikono imebeba laana. Where are you? Shomeka. 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 Scream and go. Scream and go. Scream and go. Go, 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 go. Go now. Jump out. Curses hiding in your hands. <laughs> Somebody is punishing your finances. I command you. Out. Ash has watch out there. Break. Unjika. Those hands that you keep scratching. You keep scratching your hands because of financial curses. I command fire. Evil hands that greeted you. All oh, the evil hands that greeted you. I command them to release you. Release you, release you, release you, release you. Out now. Roasted Igadada. Keep your hands lifted up one moment. Rosa Katayanda Family curses that are punishing people. I command them to release. Release you now. I command them to release. Release you now. Release you now. Come out. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Fire is on you. Fire is on you. Fire is on you. Fire, fire, fire. Shomeka. Toyo Chawi. Toa Uchawi. Toyo Uchawi. Kila Uchawi. Toa Uchawi. Uchawi unawa zibu. Where are you? Rosa Wachawi. Fire is on you. Fire is on you. Fire is on you. Somebody lift your hands. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. All tasks are punished. All tasks are punished. Curses are punished. Where are you? Come out. Come out. Come out. Lose the soul. Lose the soul. Lose the soul. Now. Rosata Yada. Touch. Curses that punish. Where are you? I arrest you today. Jump out. Holy Ghost. Fire. Fire is on you. Fire is on you. Relatives that punish. They are punishing you. They are punishing your destiny. Altars that punish destinies. Where are you? Catch fire. Catch fire. Who are you? Where are you? Curses that punish. Yes. You are under punishment. I break the curse. Loose. 
Lose the people now. Lose the people. I command them out, 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 out. Anyone punishing you with evil dreams, evil dreams, evil dreams, whoever is punishing you with evil dreams, I command them to release you now. Release you now. No, 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 no. Dio yo, dio yo, dio yo. Toka. Shomeka. Shomeka. Whoever has vowed that they will punish you as long as you are alive with medicine, they are punishing you with medicine. Today, I expose them. Whoever swore you will take medicine the rest of your life, they are punishing you on medication. Wherever they are, where are you? Out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Whoever swore they will punish you with medicine. I command them to release you today. I command them to release you. That is it. That is it. That is it. That you cannot prosper. Whoever is punishing you. I command them. Release you now. Release you now. Release you now. Release you now. 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 Where are you? Where are you? Release the people. Release the people. Whoever is punishing you. They swore. That you cannot succeed. They are punishing you. Today, the punishment is lifted. One, two, three, four, five. Lose the people. Lose the people. Lose the people. Lose the people. Who are you? Where are you? Toka. 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 I command you. Scream and go. Toka. Somebody say, any man or woman punishing my life punishing my life with medication. With medication. Release me now. Release me now. Release me now. Release me now. Yeyote ananiyadhibu. Yeyote ananiyadhibu. Lana. Lana. Release me. Release me. Be seated. Leave the rest down. We are calling this punishing curses. I repeat again. There are diverse curses. But you must identify which one am I suffering. <laughs> which one am I suffering? I command any punishing curse. Lose you now. Lose her. Lusa. Lusa now. Punishing curses. Release the soul. Release the spirit. Release the body. Punishing curses. They don't kill. They only punish. They only punish. Touch. Shake a tayada. Lose her soul. Lose her soul. Who are you? Who are you? I break the covenants that are hiding in his body. Now, in Jesus' name. Let me sit there. Punishing curses. They don't kill you. It's just punishing you. They are punishing you. They punish you. They are called punishing curses. And many people fall in that category. What Jacob is telling Reuben, you will not die. You will only be unstable as water. <laughs> you will not excel. You will not excel. These are called punishing curses. Reuben, you will not die. Reuben, you will not die. You won't die. But this is a punishing curse. Unstable as water. You shall not exhale. 
That is called a punishing curse. <laughs> In a business you start, it collapses. It is a punishing curse. Every engagement, you are disengaged. Why? It is just a punishing curse. It is a punishing curse. You can't explain why, what, why, and what is happening. They are called Punishing curses. A curse is a force that punishes. It punishes. Those who are writing, don't forget to these curses. Curses that kill. Don't forget. Curses that impoverish. They can't kill, but you'll just be poor but live a long time. <laughs> you don't die even at 90. You are healthy but very poor. You can't die. Because the curse does not kill you. It's just an impoverishing curse. We have what we call curses that fight only marriages. Curses that Punish families. Their work is only to punish. 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 Look at Numbers 22 verse 6. We've read this many times. 22 verse number 6. Come therefore I pray curse for me these people. Come and punish them. This is called a punishing curse. You just punish them. Why are you punishing them? Because they are mighty. They are mighty. Number two. Because they are already occupying our land. Too mighty for me. But adventure I shall prevail. If you punish them, I will prevail. That I may drive them out of the land. For I know him that you blesses is blessed. And him you curse is cursed. Him you punish is punished. Is punished. So we call this punishing curses. But this will look later in a, in a broader way. Understanding curses that punish. They only punish, they don't kill. There are curses we call curses that close doors. They only close doors. You want to go and do an interview. The interview is postponed. Or oh, you came late. There is what I'm calling the curses that propagate barrenness. Curses of stagnancy. You are stagnant in life. <laughs> and what Whatever has stagnated your life. Today it shall be broken. Raise your hand and say whatever. I can hear you. Whatever. Somebody say whatever. Whatever. Is stagnating my life. Is stagnating my life. You shall release me. You shall release me. They are called stagnating curses. There is what, what I'm calling the curse of failure at the age of breakthrough. And many suffered this even in the Old Testament. Moses, a prominent man of God. He saw the land. But he couldn't enter. The curse at the age of breakthrough. Curses at the age of breakthrough. Just about to get married. The man dies. 
a man dies. You're just about to deliver. And the doctor said the baby is not kicking. He, he, the heartbeat is so slow. We prayed for two ladies here sometimes back. <laughs> this lady is crying. Said pastor. The doctor said the baby may not be alive. The heart is so faint. So chances are high I might lose the baby. <laughs> but how many of you know the devil is alive? Children are a heritage from the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. We prayed for the woman right there. <laughs> I command the baby's life to come back. <laughs> the life of God enter the baby within few minutes the baby started playing in the womb <laughs> somebody say I cancel every doctor's report what was the intention of the enemy to punish the woman that what you have carried for nine years you can't enjoy it you will not see it hey somebody say I refuse somebody say I refuse curses at the, at the age of breakthrough there is also what I am calling secret of family curses Secrets. Siri. The day the secret leaks, curses begin to afflict. We have also what I'm calling altars. Altars that control curses. The absence of the an altar, the curse is nullified. So there are curses that derive their power from a car and an altar. Somebody say, I hear you. Somebody say, I hear you. There is what I am calling traveling curses. Curses <laughs> that travel. And that is one of the strongest curses in Africa. Curses that travel through the blood. And I'll be demonstrating that in a, in a while. They just travel. When this person dies, the next one must continue with the curse. Whether you saw them or not, you will still go through the curse they left. Why? Why? We call them transgenerational. Just the way they are transboundaries. You can cross a boundary and cross with a curse. They are called transgenerational curse. We'll be looking at that from Hebrews chapter 7 verse 7. Hebrews 7 7. Put that one in mind. Hebrews 7 7. Hebrews 7 7. Put that one in mind. Then we look at 1 Kings 21 29. Then we look at this, I'm calling. Traveling curses. God is talking to Prophet Elijah. And he's telling him, You see how Ahab has humbled himself. Because he has humbled himself before me. I will not bring the evil in his days. In his days he will enjoy. But the evil I had intended. I will wait for the days of his son. I understand. <laughs> I will not punish him. 
because he has repented but i will wait until his son is in the university I will wait for his son. Because he has humbled, he has repented, but he didn't repent the sins to the next generation. So he told her, Elijah, you see how Ahab has humbled himself. Before, because he humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil. I will not punish him. But what I will do, this punishment will come in the days of his son. But Lord, he is innocent. No, he is not innocent. The father has transferred it to his son. So it is the son who will carry the punishment. I understand it. It is the generational. It is a bloodline punishment. Punishment that will follow the blood. Now follow this very, very closely. Hebrews 7, 7. Hebrews 7, 7. Follow me very closely. I will uh, illustrate this with four people, four young men. Let me have four, four people here. In, In Jesus' mighty name. Follow closely here. And pay a lot of attention. This is the New Testament. Uh, you can be at the last here. Come at the end. You can come in the middle. Yeah, according to the height. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now follow me closely here. Without contradiction. The less is blessed of the better. That one cannot be changed. Are you understanding? Amen. Without contradiction. No controversy. When it comes to blessing. The one that is above you in grace is the one who can bless you. <laughs> Never forget that. The one that is higher in grace is the one who can remove the disgrace. Are you understanding? That is something that cannot be changed. And that is why he says without all contradictions. There is no referendum that can change this. And say we want to change. That the younger can bless the older. It doesn't happen that way. It doesn't ha that is the protocol. That if Eso needs a blessing. He must prepare a soup to the grace that is higher. And after Saul, I mean, uh, this man, Isaac drinks, he can now release the blessing. That one is established. Are you understanding? Secondly, he says, and here where we are, that is the second verse, here men that die, because men die, we don't live forever. So he says here, men that die receive tithes. They receive they don't come to pick. They receive from here. Those are men that have been commissioned by God. They will receive the tithes of the people. Here. But there, he receives. Tell your neighbor, be faithful in tithes. And if they are not talking, they are the first suspects. They don't tithe. 
He says here Anasema hapa, on this altar kwa madhaba umahaya, men that can die watu nakufa, they receive tithes and because they are receiving na kwa napokea, that tithe does not end here hapa, but there he receives huko ipokea, of whom it is witness that he lives umefuata hiyo protocol sasa so your tithe does not end on earth. That is why an angel told Cornelius. Your prayers and your arms. <laughs> they have come up for a memorial. They don't end here. So what you don't give is not recognized there. It has to be known there if it is here. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? amen. What is here? is known there. So if you don't put anything here, you are absent there. Thank you for the three amen. That is the whole truth. So he talks about tithe. Why is he mentioning tithe? Because the next verse will explain. So he explains. And as I may so say. Say So kulingana na hayo maandiko anasema kwa hivyo inaweza kusemwa what can it be said? Levi also. Lawi pia. Now follow me here. Sasa skia. I do a lot of study when it comes to generations. Huwa najifunza sana kuhusu vizazi. Because I want to know where this one came from and why they suffered what they suffered. Kwa sababu nataka kujua huyu alitoka wapi na kwa nini aliteseka yeye alioteseka. They mention the first person here called Levi. Wanataja mtu wa kwanza hapa anaitwa Lawi. Levi. Lawi. Now Levi Lawi was the third born of Jacob. Alikuwa mzaliwa wa tatu wa Yakobo. Because in between here, kwa sababu kati ya hawa, after Jacob, baada ya Yakobo, there is Reuben. Kuna Rubeni, there is Simeon. Kuna Simeoni, there is Levi. Basi Levi anaingia wa tatu. Umenielewa? Kama unashika sema sawa. Sawa. And that is why hata kwa kitambulisho yako kuna majina yamefuatana kulingana na uko. It doesn't matter whether unajita Max Grigoli. What? <laughs> it doesn't matter. The devil knows your village name. Shetani anajua jina la kule kijijini. You can call yourself Maxwell McGregory. Nitakujiita Maxwell McGregory, McDonald. The devil knows your name is Musambati. That is known in Nakuru only. He's <laughs> Maxwell, but in Western is Musambati. Are you understanding? He mentions Levi. Levi also. Lawi pia. He is receiving tithes. Anapokea fungula kumi. Who received tithes? Yeah, anapokea fungula kumi. He paid tithes in Abraham. Alilipa fungula kumi kupitia Ibrahimu. Listen here. Sikia sasa. He paid. Alilipa. How did he pay? Yeye alilipaje? He never met Isaac. Hakupatana na Isaac. He never met Abraham. Hakupata Ibrahim. How did he pay? Yeye alitoa fungu la 10 na 9. Back to verse 9. Turudi mstari. Follow me closely. Nifuate sana. He says. Kwa sababu as I may say so. Kama inaweza semwa. Levi who is now receiving. Lawi sasa naye pokea. The tithes of the people. Fungu la 10 na watu. Paid tithes. Alilipa sehemu ya 10 in Abraham. Katika Abrahamu. Abraham lived 175 years. Ibrahim aliishi miaka 175. Isaac 180 years. Isaac 180 years. Jacob 147 years. So this is like 4 
400 years where we find now this man called Levi. He also paid. How did he pay and he never met him? They never met. How did he pay? That is the question. He says he paid tithes in Abraham. Yet he never met him. Now I want us to see how he paid. For he for he was yet in the loins of his father. The loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. He was in the loins when Abraham met Melchizedek. All these were not born but all of them were inside here. Hey. Hey. All of them were in the loins. Go to the next verse. And I'm it up. says, If therefore perfections were by the Levitical priest, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek? And not because or be called after the order of Aaron. He gives the order of priesthood where Aaron is mentioned. Where Aaron is mentioned. Yet, if you look at Aaron now, he is a brother to Moses. Moses Musa came from Levi. I understand it. Moses, Aaron, they all came from Levi. So if the priesthood of Levi, inside there was Moses, there was Aaron, before even they saw Abraham, all of them were inside here. Go back to verse number 9, 9 again. Follow me very closely. So, as I may so say, this young man called Levi, he receives tithes. Why is he receiving? Because he paid tithes in Abraham. So, where Abraham went, he went with Levi. Because Levi was inside. Are you understanding? You have to follow this very carefully. Levi never met Abraham. Levi never met Isaac. But, whatever Abraham was doing, they were doing together because all of them were in the loins. So when your grandfather went to visit a witch, you were not born, but you were in his loins. That is why you behave the way you behave. You are in the loins. When your grandfather was marrying five wives, you were not there. But you were in his loins. That is why you have slick queens. Because you are in your father when he was marrying many wives. Hey, am I talking to someone? It is in the blood. It travels. You are in the loins. And even after Levi, we are seeing now Moses. Moses is here. So whatever happens to Levi must also happen to Moses. Why? He was also in the loins. So the reason we are here, the reason we are here is to check this lineage and understand there was barrenness. 
Sarah was barren. Sarah alikuwa tasa. Rebecca was barren. Rebecca alikuwa tasa. Leah and Rachel were barren. Rachel alikuwa tasa. So we step in here. Barrenness of my father. Where are you? Release me now. Niachilie sasa. That is why we are here. That what is flowing will stop here. That is why you are here. The cancer. The cancer. That kill my father. Kill my mother. I am not your candidate. Release me now. That is why we are here. That is why we are here. Somebody say Lord. Every power. Traveling in my family. Traveling in my family. Where are you? Where are you? Niachilie. 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 This is deeper than what we think. Because you'll always say, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. But the blood is not a new creature. It is your spirit man that is a new creature. But the blood was, you didn't receive blood transfusion. You didn't receive the blood of Jesus when you got saved. It is your spiritual man that got saved. And that is why Jesus tells Nicodemus what now is born of the spirit is the spirit. What is born of Levi is Levi. <laughs> it is in the blood of Levi. Are you understanding? So the battles many of you are fighting it's not here. It is here. It is right here. And who is this man? Abraham. Abraham. He was told come out of your father's house. So when he came out <laughs> Levi came out because he was in the loin. If Abraham came out with diabetes Levi also came out with diabetes. He came out. I understand. That is why what you do here determines your children here. What you deal with here. He never met him. But what was in the father is affecting him. And he never saw the father. Grandfather. Just because you never saw your grandmother you cannot brush it off. We have the evidence because you have her name. That is the enough evidence. <laughs> she is in the grave. But when we call her with your name, she said yes. She hears. Anaskia. That is what many believers are suffering. Because they are in churches where they are only motivated. They are just motivated. Hey, Jesus. That's not what we are doing here. I want you to understand the source of your problem. Because if you are able to travel, we are able to know Allah. So Abraham had a heart problem. And that is why he has a heart problem, heart problem. And now, I am seeing some symptoms. 
we are able now to deal with the problem from here. And this problem you are dealing with is older than you. It has 400 years. You are only 32. It is a rabbit wrestling with a rhino. That's what you are doing. <laughs> you don't wrestle an elephant by strength. You wage war against an elephant by strategy. <laughs> I have seen a lion bringing a giraffe down. <laughs> by strategy. One kick of a giraffe can kill a lion. But the lion is aware. Simba anajua hiyo. He knows. Anajua. So the lion knows. Kwa hivyo Simba anajua. If I can get that neck. Kama nitaweza pata ile shingo, I can bring you down. Basi twiga kuisha. It's not strength. Sio nguvu, but strategy. Lakini mbinu. Somebody say warfare. Sema vita. Somebody say warfare. Sema vita. So many generational battles. Why vita vingi vya vizazi? We are calling them transgenerational. Naziita vinavyopita vizazi. They were in Abraham. Nilikuwa kwa ndani Abraham. After 175 years they come to the son. Baada ya miaka 170 108 they come to Jacob. Miaka 180 zinakuja kwa. Then 47 years. Miaka 147. They now levy. Zinakuja kwa Lawi. Is a victim. Ni anakuwa mteso. Why? What you don't deal with now, it will recur again and start another 400 years. These are what we are calling transgenerational problems. They keep recurring when they don't stop from here. They will keep recurring. Recurring. In a family that is ignorant. This kind of power does not respect holiness. It does not respect fasting. It respect Holy Ghost fire prayers. Fire! Prayers that are full of fire. Hey! Where you say, my father, my God, as I pray, as I pray, I was not there, but right now, in the name of Jesus, I send the blood, I send the blood to the foundation, you diabetes, in the foundation, catch fire, in the foundation, you are fighting the battle generationally. You fight the battle generationally. Listen to this. This man called Abraham. The wife said. He's a wife. Now that you're not getting a baby, I'm giving you Hagar. Sleep with the house girl. Abraham had no problem. He had no problem. He slept with the house girl. And they got Ishmael. 300 years later, Jacob slept with the two house girls. Bilha and Zilpa. Bilha na akawaoa. Na akapata watoto nao. Marida. This, after him, he just escaped, but he also married several wives. Haliweza kuepuka isaka, lakini pia liyoa wake wengine. But you see, it still travels through the blood. Lakini unawana ini mepita na aniadamu. When Abraham entered Egypt, wakanti Ibrahim alienda Misri, he said to the people in Egypt, Sarah is my Sister. Seventy years later, Isaac also said, Rebecca is my sister. Isaac akasema, Rebecca ni dada yangu. Hey, 
These things are in the blood. They are in the blood. Jacob traveled and lived with his uncle. But the day he wanted to marry, his uncle lied to him. Instead of Rachel, he gave him Leah. Because it is in the blood. There are people who can lie naturally. You meet them after the service. I was supposed to meet the president. And they're in slippers. You may call it depression. It's not depression. It is lies that are in the blood. They can just look at the service. See a beautiful lady. They, they don't know them. And he tells the man. You know that lady wants me, but I don't know. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, lies that look like they are true. <laughs> it's lies that look like true. Because it is in the blood. If there is a button that can push you to the highest level of success, Kama kuna vita, unaweza kuingia katika upeo wa ufanisi. As if you conquer this battle. Ni kama hey, kushinda hii vita. Whatever. Jochote. Hey, hey. Jesus. Can you raise your hand right now? Mkono wako mahali. Somebody say bloodline curses. Laana za damu. Curses in the blood. Laana kwenye damu. Sema curses in the blood. Curses in, in the blood. blood. Waiting to manifest. Waiting to manifest. Where are you? Where are you? Ah. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Holy Ghost! Fire! 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 Catch fire! Catch fire! Holy Ghost! Fire! In Jesus' name. These are curses that punish. They travel through the bloodline. And many of us are innocently saved. Lord Jesus, come into my life. That's what we see. Lakini shetani anakutaka kwa sababu ya foundation. Shetani badu anakutaka kwa sababu ya foundation. That is why there are people who can climb the ladder of success. When they reach here, they go back. They go back to square one. They start well. Build a house. Build another. Buy a car. Get married. Reaching here. They go back. The house is sold. The car is auctioned. The wife leaves you. House is destroyed. You start square one. It is the foundation. The blood. That was never arrested. Amen. It is the power waiting to happen. Levi did not know that I am receiving tithes because I paid when I was in my great grandfather's loins. Let me be seated for one minute. He says, I am receiving because when I was in the loins of my great great grandfather when he met Melchizedek he paid tithes so I was also with him there. when was that? many many years even before Isaac was born that is in Genesis 14. What does from verse 20 say? Let's look at that scripture. Very, very important. 
<laughs> Isaac is not even born here. Isaka Jacob is not born. Hata Yakobo hajulikani. And he, and blessed be the most high God which has delivered thine enemies into thy hands. Bidiwe Mungu aliye juu sana aliwatui dada zako mikononi mwako. And he gave him tithes of all. Abraham akampa fungu la 10 la vitu vyote. Abraham was paying. Abraham alikuwa analipa. Abraham was paying. Alikuwa analipa. Levi is not here. Lawi hajulikani. But he is in the loins. Lakini uko viunoni. So when your mother your grandfather babu yako visited witches alitembelea wachawi you were not born hauko umezaliwa but you are in the loins lakini ulikuwa vionaoni mwake what does the next verse say stari ufuatao unasema nini listen to this sikia go back to verse 18 19 there that's what i wanted us to look at stari 18 you see that melchizedek is also in Hebrews. Melchizedek king of Salem this Melchizedek is Christ incarnate. Listen. Brought forth bread and wine. The first holy communion in the Bible. The first holy communion. Is presented by Melchizedek Christ himself. He brought bread and wine. And he was a priest of the most high God. And this is what he did. And he blessed him. So when he is blessing him, <laughs> Levi is also being blessed. Because he is in the loins. And he said, Blessed be Abraham of the most high God. Abraham na barikiwa na Mungu aliye juu sana. Possessor of heaven and earth. Muumba bingo na nchi. Eh? And blessed be the most high God. Which has delivered thine enemies into thy hands. Aliye watia dui zako mikononi mwako. And he gave him tithes. Na Abraham akampa fungu la 10 la vitu vyote. Listen. Sikia. Abraham paid tithes. So when he is paying, Levi is paying. Isaac is paying. Jacob is paying. Hey, so the sacrifices your father placed on an altar of sorcerers. You also put because you are in their loins. Things that you are experiencing now they can be traced four generations behind you four generations behind you and that is what many of us don't understand four generations behind you curses lana determine four things and we'll be finishing with those four things. Curses determine four things. Especially transgenerational curses. Genesis 3:14. What curses determine? And the Lord God said to the serpent because you have done this you are cast above all cattle you are cast you are cast above all cattle and above every beast of the field and this is what the cast will do to you serpent upon your belly you shall go Number one, ya kwanza. A curse determines how you walk in life. Kwa hivyo laana inaamua vile unatembea maishani. Now listen to me. Sasa nisikie. Even today, hata leo, today, hata leo, 4000 years ago, 
Plus the 2,000 of Jesus. 6,000 years. The serpent is still walking on his belly. Meaning that the curse is still at work. The day you turn a nyoka, you can see it on a migu, on high hills. You can see it on a little bit. But as long as you can see it on a little bit, you can see it on a little bit. The first thing you can see it on, you see this is a curse. This is a curse that was announced 4,000 years ago. It has never left. So a curse can outlive. Wahenga wakasema, mtoto wanyoka kwa sababu wako na laana ya nyoka. Hakuna vile nyoka itaza mtoto anatembea. It can't work because laana iko kwa nyoka. You understand it? Mtoto wa nyoka kama mama anatembea kwa tumbo kwa sababu ya lana mtoto atazaliwa atembee na tumbo kwa sababu ya lana ya wazazi That's what we don't know <laughs> Hey somebody say I will escape Sema nitaepuka Sema lana ya wazazi Lana ya wazazi niliozaliwa nayo Niliozaliwa nayo You shall be broken You shall be broken I understand it Any time you see a snake the first thing you should know that this is a curse. 6,000 years ago. So the curse is still at work. So a curse number one. Any time you determines how you walk. It is a curse that determines whether you will drive or walk the rest of your life. It is determined by that curse. Number two, he says, and dust you shall eat. So what you eat is determined by a blessing or a curse. Ask your neighbor, what did you eat in the morning? This one there is a problem. Kuna shida. Wakati unaweka safuria kwa jiko na kwa sababu hauna majani unaweka sukari inaungua mpaka inakuwa makaa unaongeza maji hiyo si baraka hiyo si baraka wakati unachukua viazi unapika viazi zimeiva zimeiva unaongeza unga unapika hiyo si baraka Some of you know what kind of food I'm talking about. Yes. You know what I'm talking about. The curse determined what the serpent will eat. So a curse limits you to a specific food in life. And says, You cannot take sodas. You will not take things with sugar. It is a curse limiting you. You will only eat boiled rice. Hey, Jesus Christ. Somebody say, I shall escape. That is what many of us don't understand. That a curse brought limitations. You will only eat boiled potatoes. Just that. You will be drinking duvia. And you think it is joy. Ah, duvia. Maziwa mingi, hiyo ndiyo yangu. So mtu wa hoteli ya kija na kuja, nani nduvia, nani nduvia, nani nduvia, nani nduvia. You think it is a joy. Mimi nilikunyu wa nduvia nikiwa mtoto. Nasikuwa nakunyu wa kusabi ya kupenda. Nikulazimishwa. 
Hali ya maisha. Unakunywa uji bila sukari mnaambia tuweke chumvi. Unaweka uji chumvi. Alafu saa hii ndio unaniambia sukari ni mbaya. At saa iko na mercury. Kwa nini haikuwa na mercury siku hiyo? Saa hii ndio unaniambia sukari iko na mercury. Nitakunywa ikiwa na mercury ikifika kwa tumbo inakuwa gold. Ama the devil cannot restrict you. God has blessed you. And the devil said you you can't eat anything uh, fried. You only eat boiled food. The devil restricts and says you'll only be a carnivorous. Unakula tu Mamboga. Kuna mtu wa nyama kuna mtu unakula mboga. Mimi nilikula mboga mpaka nikamea kwa tumbo. Tulikuwa nakula terere, tunakula sageti. Sageti sio ilikuwa ya wakale ama nini inaitwa sageti. Tulikula tukakula. Kwanza mvua ikinyesha zilikuwa na chunwa tunakula. I was actually a herbalist. <laughs> tulikula a lot of herbs. Sasa hii ndio unaniambia nyama ni mbaya. Mbona hukuniambia siku hiyo nyama ni mbaya? Ama vegetables ni mbaya. Mama alikuwa anapika chakula, anaweka viazi, anaongeza githeri, anaongeza cabbage, anaongeza maji debe moja. Yeye ndio mtakula wiki mzima. Itoshe watu. Hey, if that is how I ate. Kama nilikula hivyo. You are expecting my wife to cook the same things. Somebody said the cars must be broken. Somebody said the cars must be broken. Lana lazima ivunjike. Hey. You can't tell me now usikule vitu ya ungangano iko na chemical inaitwa gluten. That's what they say. Kuna kitu inaitwa gluten kwa unga inanonesha. Hiyo ndio ninataka. Ninone na niende gym. <laughs> Am I talking to someone? Ati inanonesha watu. Inonesha nani na mimi naruka ruka kwa altar every Sunday. <laughs> I do my gym here every Sunday. Kile <laughs> Jumapili narufanya vitu. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Because during those days, kwa sababu siku zile, chapatis were aliens in our house. Chapati ilikuwa vitu vigeni kwa nyumba yetu. Na wakati zimepikwa kuna eneo uwezi fika lazima ulinde mboma nikio raka hau kuna eneo haungefika mama kuone nikio raka kunywa mai dada kunywa mai nataka kunywa maji mama na simama hapo aone ukikunywa na huko na kiu unakunywa glasi tatu ukiangalia chapati mahali zimefichwa some rooms we are restricted viumba vingine ungekaribia Chapati zitakulwa jioni na wote na ni chapati ine. Takula kuota 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 kuota. If that is how it was. Kama ilikuwa hivyo. You are expecting to continue now. With this revelation. Ah, somebody say I break the curse. Mama nabunja laana. I break the curse. Nabunja laana. So what Satan was told here? Your movement will be limited by this curse. Number two. What you used to eat, you will not be eating. You will now eat the dust. Sasa utakula mavumbi. And that is what is happening today. Na hivyo ndivyo inatendeka leo. Curses have limited people to specific food. Kwamba laana nimezuia watu kwa chakula aina fulani. They have turned you to eat herbs only. Mkuwanya kwamba unakula mboga peke yake. It's not the will of God. Sio mapenzi ya Mungu. That is the first thing. Hiyo ni jambo la kwanza. The second thing. Ya pili. You look at verse 17. Angalia mstari wa 17. What God told Adam now. Vile ambavyo Mungu alimwambia Adam. What does the curse do? Lana inafanya nini? And to Adam he said. Kwa kumwambia Adam, because you have hearkened unto the voice of your wife. Kwa kuomba isikiliza sauti ya mke wako. And you have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you saying you shall not eat. Ukala matunda ya mti ambao nilikuagiza nikisema usiale. Cast 
is the ground. Ardhi imelaaniwa. The earth is under punishment. Ardhi imeadhibiwa. That is what God is telling Adam. Hivi ndivyo Mungu anamwambia Adam. Because of your disobedience. Kwa sababu ya kutotii kwako. Then the curse lands on the earth. Basi naana inaingia kwenye ardhi. Where you get your sukuma wiki. Mahali unanipata sukuma wiki. You will no longer get that sukuma wiki. Au utakuwa unaipata without sorrow. Bila kuwa na huzuni. You shall eat of it the days of your life. Utakuona siku zote za maisha yako. Curses also dictates the environment what it produces. Kwa hivyo laana zinamrisha maeneo yako yatakuwa na zaa nini? What will your environment give you? Mazingira yako yatakupa kitu gani? What will your business give you? Biashara yako itakupa nini? That is what the curse does. Hiyo ndio laana inaleta. Listen. Sasa. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth. Michongoma na miiba itakuzalia. So thorns were not there originally. Miiba haikuweko mwanzo. They were not there. Haikuweko. But immediately the curse landed. Lakini laana ilipotangazwa. Thorns began to grow. Miiba ikaanza kumea. So any time you see thorns. Bila wakati ukiona miiba. You remember these are the curses. Nakumbuka hizi ni laana. That brought forth thorns. Ambazo zilileta hii miiba. I understand. Unanielewa. Listen let me explain here it's important. Hebu nieleze hapa ili uelewe. Thorns and thistles. Miiba na michongoma. Thorns, miiba. So for this curse to be lifted. Ili ilana iondolewe because it produced thorns. Kwa sababu ilizaa miiba. Then for this curse to be lifted. Ili ilana iondolewe a roman soldier waskari wa kirumi a roman soldier askari wa kirumi coiled a thorn a crown of thorns kaotengeneza taji la miiba i understand it walielewa he made a crown of thorns kaotengeneza taji la miiba he did know hakujua these are the thorns kama hii ni miiba that grew out of the curse ama ilimea kwa sababu ya laana and for this curse of thorns to be broken na ili laana ya miiba ivunjwe it will need the blood of jesus itahitaji damu ya yesu he placed it on his head akamwekelea yesu ile taji ya miiba blood came out na damu ikamtoka saying the curse is broken laana ya miiba imevunjika the curse is broken laana ya miiba imevunjika The curse is broken. And today we are enforcing the verdict of that. Oh, ile inutimizwa hapo. In the name of Jesus. The thorns pierced his head. Pale miiba ikachudunga kichwa chake. And blood came out. What was he saying? Ilikuwa anasema nini? The Adamic curse. Laana ya Adam. The Adamic curse. Laana kwa Adam. We not rest on the oracle again. Itakalia oracle tena. By my blood. The curse is lifted. And today I pray. That curse of hard labor. The curse of hard labor. It shall be broken. Somebody say break, break, break. You must understand the operations of the curses. And how to exit from a curse. How to exit jinsi ya kutoroka from a curse kutoka kwa laana bwana atukuzwe sana amen very very crucial muhimu sana another thing ya umeamla what curses would do kile laana zaweza fanya in genesis 4:11 katika mwanzo 4:11 this is cain uni cain and now you are cast basi sasa umelaaniwa these things exist mambo haya yako God cast Mungu alilaani human curses wanadamu hulaani satan curses na shetani hulaani parents can curse wazazi wanaweza kulaani evil prophets curse na manabii wabaya wanaweza laani so it's you to understand how this operates kwa hivyo lazima uelewe mambo haya yanafanya kazi vipi and revoke them out of your life na uweze kuyafuta kwa maisha yako he told cain kamwambia cain you are now cast sasa umelaaniwa from the earth katika nchi 
which has opened his mouth to receive thy brother's blood from your hand. You are cast. And this is how the curse will deal with you. This is how the curse will punish you. When you till the ground, when you start a business, it shall not end yield. That's a curse. There are some businesses that cannot yield anything. Until you break the existing curse. Either territorial in that building in that environment your business will thrive you was told when you till the ground it shall not turn forth yield and even in Kenya they are a land even if you plow it does not yield the curse in that land is so heavy that even the government cannot dig boreholes there. Visima. Visima kule. Those dams, they explode and bury people. Because curses punish people even when you are asleep. <laughs> so the curse that was announced over Cain is unfruitfulness. Listen, it shall not end for the yield until he has strength. It will be a weak land. Number two, Kapiri, fugitive and a vagabond shall you be on earth. Takuwa mtoro na mtu asia na kikao duniani. Leo uko kericho, mwezi ujao Eldoret, Kitale, mara umenda Lodua, umenda Nanyuki, umenda Kajiado, umenda Machakos, na hakuna kitu unafanya. Hakuna kitu unafanya. That is the curse. A vagabond shall you be on earth. You don't have a house. A vagabond. This is how curses punish people. Today you are here. Tomorrow you are there. We'll build on that maybe next Tuesday. I want us to do warfare. I want us to wage war now. We are equipped now to deal with these punishing curses.